What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog and this is me Samir and in today's video I'm gonna tell you how you can get back all those precious storage back on your iPhone. Yes, iPhone doesn't have any recycle bin or rubbish bin compared to its counterpart like Windows or Mac but surely there are some apps which store deleted data locally and we're we'll gonna talk about that. So make sure you watch this video till the end because it might be helpful for a lot of people and I don't want you to miss out on any crucial tip or trick. So without wasting your time, let's start today's video. So we are gonna check out apps like photos, files, mails, notes, messages, voice memo and voice mails where we can find our deleted files. So let's start with our first app and that is of course photos app. We have a tendency to click a plethora of photos through our iPhone and we only save those which are clicked good. And what about the bad ones? We delete them, but we forget to delete them from the recycle bin itself. So we'll want to check that function out. So first and foremost, we need to open photos app. Duh. Then we need to go into the album section and scroll down. And from here, select recently delete. And it will ask for the face ID. And so as you can see, there are a plethora of photos and videos which I shot on my iPhone, but deleted later. But these photos and videos haven't gotten away from my device. They are still there in the recycle bin. So you can empty the recycle bin by tapping on select, select all and then three dot button and make sure you tap on delete, delete from this iPhone. And voila, all your unwanted photos and videos will be gone and you will get back that precious storage of your iPhone. Now let's clear trash from the files app itself because we also download a lot of files through internet and sometimes we want them and we might also download unwanted files from the internet or it can get downloaded automatically you know what i'm talking about anyways you can also delete them and you can clear the trash can from the files app itself let's see how you can do it the first and foremost thing that you need to do is of course open files app and from here select browse select recently deleted and as you can see there are a lot of files which i have deleted you can do simply tap on this three dot button select select all those files you want to delete from the storage of your iphone for example this 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 and of course this and tap on delete and voila, you have successfully deleted all those unwanted files from your files app on your iPhone. Now let's talk about mails. We tend to get a lot of mails on daily basis and most of them are just uh, unwanted spams and you normally delete them but you never delete them from your recycle bin and I beg you that you do that to save some storage on your iPhone. Let's see how you can do that. So first and foremost thing, you need to open mail app then tap on mailboxes and scroll down until you get the option of a bin. I have multiple bins available because I'm using multiple IDs as you can see over here. So let's go into the Gmail bin and these are my deleted spams which I want to remove from my iPhone. So I will tap on edit, select them and delete. That's how simple it is. Now let's go back, go into the Outlooks mail, edit, select all all and all delete and voila we have successfully deleted mails spam mails from outlook as well as from gmail many of us quickly write down any idea any thought which came into our minds in the notes app of the iphone but how many of you go there and visit those notes and filter them if they are important or not I don't think anyone does that, but let's see how you can delete some of your notes to save some of the storage on your iPhone. So now let's open our notes app and here we go. And as you can see, there are approximately 170 of notes on this particular device. And if I just tap on the folder option and these are all my folders. And lastly, we'll get the option of recently deleted tap on it and these are my notes which are useless and I don't want them on my device simply I'll tap on edit select all like this and tap on delete and delete seven notes that's how you delete those notes permanently 
from your iPhone. So now let's talk about voice memos. I don't use this particular feature on my iPhone, but there are people, many of you might be using that. So I'm going to tell you how you can remove all those unwanted recordings and clear some storage on your iPhone. So firstly, let's open the voice memos app. And here are my four recordings, which I want to delete. Let's uh, tap on edit, select these three and delete. Now you need to tap on this arrow icon go into the recently deleted and as you can see there are eight files present over here again you need to tap on edit to permanently delete them select them all and tap on delete delete forever and that's how you delete unwanted voice memos from your iphone now let's talk about messages on iphone you might be getting a lot of alert messages spams or even you could be using a message on your iphone then my friend you need to clear your recycle bin over there as well because some chats might have a lot of files and could take up a lot of storage on your iphone so firstly let's open the messages app and now tap on three dot button over here and select messages and select all the messages you want to delete and tap on delete. That's how you delete messages on iPhone. But these messages are still on the storage and how you can find them by tapping on filters recently deleted. And as you can see, these are the messages which I just deleted in front of you guys. So I want to get rid of these messages. All I have to do is just select all of these and tap on delete. That's how you delete the messages on the iPhone. And lastly, let's talk about voicemail. For now, my carrier provider doesn't support this particular service and uh, I might not be able to get the voicemails, but I can tell you how you can delete yours. So firstly, to access voicemails on your iPhone, you need to, of course, go into the phones app from here, voicemail and all the voicemails linked to your account will be here and you can delete them like this. So using these methods, you can clear all the junk files from your iPhone and get back that priceless storage of your iPhone. So if this video helped you out, make sure you press the like button and do let me know in the comment section which was the particular method you used to clear the junk files, majority of them from your iPhone. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing crucial content like this and one more thing go to app store download igb app and enjoy everything apple content and amazing wallpapers i can vouch for and on this note this is me samir signing off and i'll see you in the next one till then tada yeah bye, -bye.